What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna react to some video of Piers Morgan slamming Megan Rapino for some reason. Something about if Holland identified as a woman. No idea what this whole video is about, but let's see. <laughs> Rapino, the world's most annoying sports star who's now retired from international uh, soccer, uh, and she said this. I feel like the stuff off the field is um, like the reason I'm, you know, here on this planet. That feels um, like my life's work and um, something that um, just feels like breathing to me. So um, I love that work. Um, you know, I love being able to leverage this amazing platform and um, use that to, you know, in some way make the world a, a better place. Oh, shut up. Honestly. Good for her. Yeah. <laughs> Kick a round little ball around. That's it. Nobody wants to see you, see you make the world a better place. So let me tell you what she means by this stuff off the pitch. Is that now she's retired, now she says she wants to see biological males who've transitioned to be trans women play in the women's national soccer team. Not while she was playing herself, so they couldn't take her place, uh, these biological males, but now she'd be quite happy for that type. In fact, she wants it to happen. If that's what your contribution is to women's rights, because she's basically saying, look at me, I did all this stuff for women's rights. Actually, Miss Rapino, what you've done, you've left with a little sting in my tail, is that now, having fought for women's rights, for pay uh, and parity and so on, which I totally applaud you for, now you've left endorsing something that would destroy women's rights to fairness and equality. That is your legacy. Anyone got a thought? Yeah, the um, progress. <laughs> it's absolutely absurd to suggest. You know, the reason that she's left at this point is because her life has become so difficult as she's tried to campaign for fairness and equality for trans women in sport. Mm. Even as she's, you know, fought for a very, very long time to get through all of these measures that you've just said have been really, really important. We've reached the stage where the, the political debate about trans people has become so toxic. So Erling Haaland, she feels like she right, has Grace, to step down right, Grace, in order to be a full time So Erling Haaland says, I'm a woman. He can play the women's the team. Number of the, trans, team? the number of trans Alina, people Alina, that Alina. are going to be I, in I the it. It's, it's not right. Hang on, right. very important <laughs> question. If that were to happen, Helen should be able to play by where we're at with this issue. Even if many of them decide to do that and then want to join the women's soccer or football, <laughs> you know, it's not going to happen overnight. I don't know why he's making a big fuss about it. Did she just say Alina Holland? <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. I guess that's Holland's uh, trans name. I kind of get where he's coming from, though. It's just not fair to... Because she's good now. She's retired. So, you know, she's like, oh, I'm good. You know, just let whoever wants to play, play. But you weren't saying this when you were playing, you know? Now there's just more competition for other people if that goes through. And it's just not fair, I think. But um, imagine but, Holland playing in the women's league, bruh. He would, he would tear it up. I want to know what their perspective or like the women's soccer perspective yeah. is, if exactly. Holland were to play. Oh, I don't know. What do we know? He could, he could go like he's doing. Nah, ain't no way he's ghosting <laughs> with these girls. There, there's gonna be no KDB there, you know. He's, gonna, he's, he's about to assist himself, do everything himself. Physicality, this guy is wrecking a lot of Premier League defenders right now. And if he identified as a woman and played on the women's national team, would that be fair? I don't know. Even if she's fighting for that, I think where we're at with things like this, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Like the reality we have of it is that it's not going to happen. Grace? Can Erling Haaland, if he says, I now identify as a woman, play in the Norwegian uh, national he, he's women's Manchester team? Manchester City. Massive he's the best striker right, in the world. Manchester he's six City, foot four. Yeah. He's a massive beast. He scores goals every 10 seconds in the men's game. Are you if happy? If he suddenly decided yeah. to become trans, yeah. to go through all of the yeah. horror. Actually, the, you have to go through the, everything. The, just like. The stuff I need. No, no, he, you go through nothing. He, he, he suddenly identifies as trans. He yeah. deals with all of the, the pushback on social media, yeah. the death <laughs> threats, <laughs> everything that he's going to get <laughs> as a result of that. And then says, I want to become a woman. I want to identify as a woman. Then, you know, the, the team would be <laughs> able to legitimately make a decision as to whether or not that was a woman. 
Yeah. That is exactly, that is the Megan Rapino position right there. You are our Megan Rapino. You've just destroyed... Thanks. You're in saying one... that I'm a, an international women's soccer player. I'm no, I'm saying you're relatively irritating. Uh, <laughs> uh, take a position that you're always the wrong. The feeling is mutual. And on this one, <laughs> <laughs> and on this one, you have just endorsed Ernie Harland playing women's football, which, of course, would destroy women's football. Congratulations. Women's rights nil. I didn't... But look, look, look. I didn't know think, you were I didn't know you were the power to destroy women's bi Biological sex matters, right? Yeah. And you, men, born as men, should be playing yeah. women's sport. But Rapino, free speech. What's wrong with that? She's, she's, nothing. She's allowed to be. She's allowed to be. She's, she's allowed to be. And by the way, yeah. nothing wrong with me exercising my right to free speech to say it's complete, a bit like racist position on Ellie Harlan, who she only just heard of. Complete cat trap. A man uh, can apparently destroy women's football with a touch of a hat. It's crazy. It would. It would. It would. Uh, but thank you, Pat. Those ladies obviously haven't seen Holland play, bro. Or any men's football players play, bro. Well, the thing is, like, not many of them are... Like, this is a hypothetical. They're saying Holland, but Holland's not. So that point at this moment doesn't count. And if some of them do go, there's going to be more that are also going to be joining. It's not just going to be one person. I would just say I don't think that's his topic for him to be covering that. <laughs> you know, he's not... Uh, specialize in those rights. I mean, he's he, even in sports. He barely knows much of the sports. It's just what he watches and what he 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 just likes to basically talk about really controversial topics. That's what he's known for. So I want to end it with this. Before Megan Rapino starts talking about like all this kind of stuff, political stuff or whatever, how about she focus on her job and help the women's national team win the World Cup? But this previous one, she was one of the reasons why they lost. Big reason, actually. <laughs> but let's not talk about that. <laughs> I support whatever happened. Well, that's it from us. Thanks for watching. Peace out.